It's a major ramping up of UNHCR's aid effort in Iraq. Emergency items are arriving for hundreds of thousands of Iraqis displaced by fighting. This is the UN Refugee Agency's largest humanitarian aid push in a decade. The needs are absolutely massive right now. We've had 1.2 million people displaced in this country since January, hundreds of thousands just in the last few weeks alone. So in the next 10 days, we're going to be bringing in some 2,500 tons of aid, sending it out to those in need. And again, they are in need because we see it every day. People who are living in churches, mosques, by the side of the road, in schools, in unfinished buildings. UNHCR and its partners have been pitching hundreds of tents every day. Two camps are now open and more are being built. We wish that we could say that we could just open up a camp overnight or get aid to the people overnight, but that's just not the way it works. This is a massive operation, a major undertaking. Again, considering how many people there are, this is going to take time. So we expect, though, that in the next days and weeks, we're going to be reaching hundreds of thousands of people across Iraq. On the plane today, tents, kitchen sets jerry cans for water and plastic sheeting. Three more loads will arrive in the next three days, the start of a massive air, land, and sea operation to get aid out. The focus is on improving living conditions for more than a half a million people. Just last week, thousands were crossing into Iraq's northern region of Kurdistan every day bringing the total number of displaced to well over 600,000. The focus now is to aid new arrivals and those already here.